thought I'd do a quick video <clears throat> on my Jiffy Model 30. Runs real good. Rebuilt that carburetor. New fuel line, flush the fuel tank, cleaned up the points. And, uh, you know, these things have a great reputation. This one does have the casting for the suicide or uh, one arm bandit on the uh, gearbox, but. Uh, I don't know if it had it up top. Usually it's riveted, that handle right there. But this one has the new, what do you call it, butterfly handle maybe. Now I had the manual for this. Unfortunately I don't have it here. And it would be very helpful if I did. Because when I was going through the manual, and I got this auger and a bunch of tilts, and an old sled from a guy. Actually I got two augers. Um, I went through the manual. And one of the things it had... In the manual, it said that, you know, you could convert these from the factory into earth augers. And I said, well, you know, that would come in handy for me. You know, and then you go on some of these ice fishing forms, and a lot of guys just use the regular auger. And what they do is they just, you know, replace the cutting edge. And, uh, you know, some of the older ones have it welded on. Uh, that one's just bolted in with a couple 730 seconds, I think. So I said, wow, it would be really cool to, to get that kit. So what the kit involves to turn this into an, uh, to an earth auger so you can, or a post hole digger is uh, an air filter, which I don't have, and an auger bit, which I just got. I'm going to show you. Oh, and of course, when I was unpacking it, I got a nice little sliver of steel in my thumb. Uh, okay, so... I don't think it was ever used. So there it is. As you can see, it's about three or four inches shorter than the ice auger bit. And there's some other differences as well. And I'll show you them right now. This is a nine inch, eight inch, not sure. It's bigger than that one though. Looks like it's been hammered on a little bit there. But let's take a look oh, to the business end. Get it up on the bench here. Sure doesn't look like it's ever been used. Okay. Can I even, uh, thankfully he did that so it won't punch through the box. Yeah, this has never been used. So there's the cutting edge and it's pretty sharp. And uh, as you can see, it's it's basically uh, you know cut into this plate on the bottom. Better angle there. And uh, uh, I'm not sure. Now you, you have a bolt right there, so I guess. You can replace this. This must slide out. Yeah. Cause did this, did this have that? No. Just right on the pipe. So this has a steel bar. Right there. Two bolts. And then your cutting plate comes out probably to sharpen or replace. And uh We'll unpackage the counter sink. Yep. Never been used. Pretty neat. That's basically that's basically the same. I think. That's a good little sheath. We'll keep that. Basically the same as that one. But, uh, man, I wish I had, I took out all my manuals, but I couldn't find it. It must be at work. So, there it is. They're out there. I mean, if I found one, you can find one. You know what the... Nine inch. Nine inch. Yeah. Better than using a post hole digger and a rock bar. 
a shovel. And, you know, we are considering putting a fence in here. And uh, I'm on pretty sandy soil anyway. Where I live was a, uh, was a sand pit, a gravel yard. So digging here is pretty easy. This would make it even easier. I would like to get the air filter for it, but I bet that's not too hard to come by. I don't, you know, I could use a cone filter with a base. I could even make something, I'm sure. But these are great augers. <clears throat> I only used it twice last year. We didn't have a ton of ice. Caught a ton of fish. <clears throat> so hopefully I'll get out there more. But, you know, these are great little augers. I made them for a long time. Now everybody's going to the battery and electric ones, and that's fine. But, you know, you don't piss off the people on the, on the pond with one of those. But uh, if you've never seen a muffler on one of these, it's a muffler <clears throat> in quotations. Yeah, you can see right into the exhaust port. It's, uh, like others have said, it's it's basically a diffuser. And you can make a muffler for it, but if Jiffy didn't see the need, why? Well, I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. But I've had this engine apart. Well, partially apart. I've seen both ends. The exhaust side and the intake side read cage out and it looks like new I don't think it was used too much it's got a lot of surface rust but tanks plastic so that's good but anyway yep if you were thinking can you know I have one of these can I am I gonna break it well evidently Jiffy says it's okay because they made a bit just for it and this is it 